Well, if you're someone who struggles with dry skin in the winter, stress no longer. Dr. Barone is here to answer the questions so that we can get these things right. We obviously need your help. Uh, you might be asking when it comes to treating dry skin, you know, uh, what, what we should be doing. All right, first of all, Dr. Barone, thank you for being here again. Well, uh, pleasure to be here. Thank you for wearing the Santa uh, pants. They're very <laughs> nice, the pantalones. Well done, well done. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we have our three questions for you. Let's go number question. Right. Question number one. As we as we dramatize that, <laughs> that's there, there very exciting. What are the common causes of dry skin in the winter? Well, there's multiple. Uh, first of all, winter air is cold, and there's very little humidity in the air, so that's one issue. Um, and indoors, the heaters are on, and that's usually not humidified, so there's less moisture in the air in the heated air inside. And then when you're cold, you're taking hot showers and you're uh, stripping the skin of essential oils sometimes if you do it excessively. Uh, you turn on your space heater, uh, that also dries the skin, low humidity. So lots, lots of causes for that. That makes sense. So what are we supposed to do about it? That's the real question. Which products are effective for handling that dry skin we're all kind of dealing That's with? That's question number two, by the way. If, oh. you, if you want to throw that up oh, on the okay. graphic. Your question number two. <laughs> I, I need, see, you're a professional okay. host. That's I'm okay. just a schlub over that's, here that's asking right. about my flaky skin. <laughs> it's terrible. But what should we be doing? Well, the short-term solution, a temporary one, is applying moisturizers, as everybody knows. Now, moisturizers have two components, humectants, which pull water in, into the skin, and emollients, which kind of are a barrier and kind of seal the skin. So the skin's job, the outer layer of the epidermis, is to keep bad stuff out and keep good stuff in, like moisture. When the skin's irritated or dry, it cracks and it, it doesn't keep the moisture in very well. So people put moisturizer on, and the good thing is a temporary relief, but it doesn't really help the skin long term because it shuts off your natural cell production by inhibiting exfoliation. So healthy skin tends to be more resilient to getting dry. So moisturizer is good for temporary relief, but the ultimate answer, the long term answer, is improve the health of the skin because when it's functioning well, it will keep moisture in better and also prevent other things from, from entering. And when it's not inflamed, it does that functions much better. So a good skincare program is really your best long-term solution. Temporary moisturizers are fine, but you really should think more of the big picture. Okay, all right, and this is uh, the final one here. Question number three. Are there specific skincare products or services we should avoid, we should avoid in the winter? Uh, yeah, so alcohol-based things, uh, are often a problem in a lot of alcohol and hand sanitizers. Um, excessive exfoliation uh, where they're peeling or stripping the skin often. But light peeling is good because light peeling removes the dead older skin and stimulates growth of new skin. So when it's done properly, peeling can be very helpful. But when you're talking about that, you're talking about retinol or retin-A type or vitamins. Like when, what, what causes just the light amount of peeling so we're not overdoing it? Well, retinol causes a light amount of Okay. a light amount of peeling and it's also good for the skin It's vitamin A it also improves cell turnover so it stimulates growth of new skin cells if you want to get your moisture naturally you get it from within that's why children never get dry skin or hardly ever because they're making new cells all the time as we get to be older new cell production slows down it slows down with aging with sun damage with menopause etc so if you can reef up your cell production like when you're a kid you get naturally moist skin from within instead of depending on it from a bottle. And that's what a good skincare program can do for you. I would think internal hydration too, if you're drinking all the water, you know, you yeah, and also stay don't hydrated. Forget, yeah, internal hydration as well as omega-3, so fish oil and olive oil and things like that, those are omega-3 fatty acids. The, the skin epidermis is in like a cholesterol base. So that cholesterol keeps the cells together. So those things can be very helpful to keep your skin moist and healthy. Uh, one thing, that, and especially since uh, 2020, uh, hand sanitizer has been a huge thing sure. and, and, and you know essential for a lot of things. Is that something that not necessarily to avoid, but to limit or at least uh, be careful with the use? Will it dry out your skin? Yeah, you should use it judiciously because excessive hand sanitizer because of the alcohol will, will suck a lot of the moisture out of the skin. And if your hands get dry, you can use an emollient, which is more occlusive and more of a barrier, but you should, when you use a moisturizer, you should do it right after a shower when the, when the skin's a little damp. That kind of seals the moisture. And the best time to apply it is right after a shower, after you wash your hands, when you have a little bit of moisture on the skin and then put the moisturizer on or the emollient, which is kind of seals the skin. Back in the day, they would say dry off soft. And that would be right before you were all yes, dry. You'd just put pat whatever. yourself dry and not, mm -hmm. not rub aggressively. And too much use of a loofah can be irritating to the skin as well. It's better to use a skin brush, which is much more effective. 
Wow. Excellent. We got to demo that one oh, time. I want to do that segment, the skin brush segment. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, all right. That'll be interesting. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Brown, thank you for being here. Always good stuff. Always, Always good pants, too. <laughs> thank you, Eric. Well, well thank done. You. I love it. All right. Up